for me, this is kind of the first thing that I've done that I've been seeing this kind of reaction or this response uh, so instantly. Ariana Ceballos is studying public health at the College of New Jersey. While the junior still has another year to go, she's leading efforts with other students to make a difference now. We're working with New Jersey Public Health Association to work with communities in uh, the, all of New Jersey. And we're making focus groups that can, um, we talk about vaccine hesitancy and just all the barriers that people face in um, you know, trying to get the vaccines. Sabayo says some of those barriers include the spread of misinformation on social media, as well as understanding what are the long-term effects of getting vaccinated for COVID-19. To answer those questions and combat misinformation, students are going directly into neighborhoods and handing out multilingual flyers like these to let people know there are resources available to them. Students are also on site at vaccine clinics ready to help. I'm a Hispanic woman and this stuff is very relevant. I, I hear hesitancy among you know, family members even. So I think trying to spread this information and just understanding again, where people are coming from is really important to me. A lot of people don't really understand the kinds of clinical trials that have been done and the vast large numbers of people who've been enrolled in different clinical trials and all of the different medical testing that goes into trying to find out any health consequences. Dr. Brenda Seals, Associate Professor and Chair of Public Health at the College of New Jersey, says students are focusing on some of the state's most vulnerable residents, Native American and Black and Brown communities, where hesitancy is connected to a very troubling past. For example, in the African American community in particular, there's a long history of medical abuses, uh, some linked to clinical trials, um, I think the Tuskegee syphilis trials uh, are a good example where uh, even after we knew that penicillin worked to cure uh, syphilis, uh, people in the trial were not offered uh, this option and were actually kept from getting good treatment. That's something that people are not going to forget. But students and faculty at the College of New Jersey are trying to change that narrative and get people more comfortable with getting vaccinated. I think um, the biggest problem is that a lot of those vulnerable communities, we haven't even really done the outreach that we need to do, really getting to the people. Um, and, 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 and that's what, in my view, you have to do is you have to go in the community, in those um, areas, and really talk with groups, not just send out mass emails. Students believe the results from the initial focus groups already show their efforts are working, with more residents saying they're now more likely to get vaccinated. The goal is to make sure this trend continues so that everyone can go back to living their lives as they did before the pandemic. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.